Autism Sunday, Wikipedia article audio. Autism Sunday, also known as the International Day of Prayer for Autism and Asperger Syndrome, is observed annually on the second Sunday of February. Autism Sunday was first held in 2002 during Autism Awareness Year in the United Kingdom. It was initiated by parents and carers Yvonne Correa and Cherika Correa, founders of the Autism Awareness Campaign UK. Parents of Charon, a teenager with autism spectrum disorder and a communication disorder, they urged leaders of religious organizations, churches, community groups, and world leaders around the globe to speak up for people with autism and Asperger syndrome. What started as a small acorn of an idea in their home has turned into a huge international event. Autism Sunday is now celebrated across the world in many countries. History Debate in the House of Commons The first service for autism was held in February 2002 at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Former Education Ministers Peers from the House of Lords, celebrities, writers, broadcasters, and the media joined children and people at St. Paul's Cathedral to pray for children and adults with autism and Asperger syndrome, as well as their parents and caregivers. In 2008, the first early day motion on Autism Sunday was tabled in the House of Commons, in the Palace of Westminster. The motion, EDM 874, was sponsored by David Drew MP and signed by 71 members of Parliament. It calls on the government to work with all faith communities in order to reach out to parents, caregivers and people with autism and Asperger syndrome in local communities and urges church leaders and community groups of all denominations to engage with people with autism and Asperger syndrome. The British Prime Minister, David Cameron extended his personal support for Autism Sunday. Autism Sunday was mentioned in a debate in the House of Commons in the British Parliament. David Taylor MP mentioned the day and called for action stating that the churches and other religious organizations will be supporting an international day of prayer for those with autism and Asperger's syndrome. Will the leader of the House take this as a bit as a topical debate on the issue, which affects hundreds of thousands of people throughout the country? The conditions are under-recognized and under-resourced and they badly need a national strategy a national task force and a well-resourced plan for the future. In reply, the leader of the Commons, Harriet Harman MP said, For many years, families have struggled to support and care for children with autism, often to a great extent on their own and without the proper backup of integrated services. There is now a great deal more awareness of the difficulties of autism and Asperger's syndrome and a recognition of the importance of early diagnosis and integrated services. I congratulate the churches on picking this for an international day of prayer, and we would like to work with the churches, local government and the voluntary sector to ensure that families with a family member who develops autism or Asperger's have the backing that they need in future. Churches of all denominations around the world now honor the millions of people with autism on Autism Sunday, the International Day of Prayer for Autism and Asperger Syndrome. Organizers estimate there are 60 million people with autism around the world. Campaigners have said that many suffer without proper public services in education, health specialist speech therapy and respite care in several parts of the world particularly in Africa and Asia. The credit crunch and the global recession which hit many countries in 2008 to 2009 also affected the autism community. In the UK, people were concerned about the cuts to disability benefits and cuts to public services. Homes were repossessed during the economic downturn and some families below the poverty line had to choose between heating and eating. 
International Day of Prayer for Autism and Aspirager Syndrome World Church leaders have been supporting Autism Sunday. Pope Benedict XVI told the organizers that he would be praying for the autism community on Autism Sunday. Some of the largest churches in the United States, including Rick Warren S. Saddleback Church, have pledged to pray for over 60 million people with autism and Aspirager syndrome on Autism Sunday. Support came from the Bishop of London in the United Kingdom, R.T. Rev. Richard Chartres. The organizers have urged parents, carers, and the worldwide autism community to use No Autism Sunday as a platform to lobby and campaign on the serious issues. Support for Autism Sunday 2011 came from the Chilean miner, Jose Henriquez, the 24th miner to be rescued from the San Jose mine. Henriquez was invited by U.S. President Barack Obama to address the presidential prayer breakfast in February 2011. He met Yvonne Correa and Cherica Correa, the founders of Autism Sunday in the UK, prior to his departure to Washington, D.C. They presented him with his first ever Autism Awareness ribbon. The news of the presentation was relayed by the media in Chile. Jose Henriquez released a special message in support of Autism Sunday 2011. Campaigners around the world organized an Autism Sunday Twitter storm to mark Autism Sunday 2011, to celebrate the lives of all people with autism.